Hello, I'm Susan Denser, President and Chief Executive Officer of America's Physician Groups, and I have the great pleasure of speaking today with Dr. Jerome Adams, the former U.S. Surgeon General. He's written a book called Lessons from the Front Lines of the War Against COVID-19, and he'll keynote a very important session on health equity at our forthcoming APG conference in Washington, D.C. on October 31st. Dr. Adams, you grew up as the son of school teachers struggling to make ends meet in rural Maryland. And you recount uh, that you went on on a full scholarship to the University of, uh, to Indiana University, excuse me, uh, to get your medical degree, and then on to the University of California at Berkeley to get your master's degree in public health. Then, of course, you became Indiana State Health Commissioner and finally Surgeon General of the United States. You tell the story in your book of how you almost died as an eight-year-old child of asthma. And you point out that even today, black boys are three times as likely to die of asthma as are white children, in part because of the communities that are conducive to them having asthma and to worsening their asthma. So as we think about our ongoing need to attack these very dramatic ongoing health and healthcare disparities, what are the most important lessons you've taken away from your career in health and public health? Well, Susan, thank you so much for uh, having me today and thank you for inviting me to speak at the APG conference. I'm excited that the theme is health equity. And when I think about health equity, I think of Martin Luther King's quote from 60 years ago, when he said, of all injustices, inequality in healthcare is the most shocking and most inhumane. He said it 60 years ago, could have said it today, and it would be just as true. However, uh, I want to challenge people to think beyond MLK's quote. Uh, he talked about inequality, but we need to talk about inequity. Uh, because inequality means that we solve it by giving everyone the same thing. And we saw during the pandemic that giving everyone the same advice and expecting these same responses uh, wasn't adequate. As an example, we told people to stay home and telework or, or do virtual school, but many couldn't do that because they didn't have access to Wi-Fi. Uh, we told people to isolate, but in many cases you couldn't do that if you lived in crowded multi-generational housing. So it's important that we as healthcare professionals understand the unique needs of our patients and, uh, and really strive to get beyond even just equality and get towards equity. Uh, the other part of his quote uh, involves health care. And I would challenge people to think beyond health care and think about overall health. We know that health care is only about 20% of what determines whether or not you're actually going to be healthy. And when I say healthcare, I mean what happens in a doctor's office, what happens in a hospital. Uh, we know that uh, your transportation, safe and affordable housing, uh, whether or not you have a job that pays a living wage, whether or not you have childcare, all those things all have an even greater impact on your ability to be healthy and to stay healthy than your access to a doctor's office or a hospital. And so we need to think about health equity and we need to think about improving the communities where people live, learn, work, play, and pray. And if we do that, then I think we'll all be much happier. We'll all be uh, much better uh, caretakers of our communities and of our uh, citizens. Those are such critically important lessons for all of us, Dr. Adams. Thank you so much. We so look forward to seeing you in a few weeks at our APG Fall Conference. I can't wait. <laughs>